the question. Raymond was what did you want to be? Answering Raymond Jesus. Get up, 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 come on, stop, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, come on, stop, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, come on, stop, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check, check, one, two. Can you hear me out there? All right. Yo. All right. All right. So uh, you can see on the screen what I got going on. Uh, I came in here and uh, thought I might come in here and do a few minutes on a reaction. And uh, I quickly, it wasn't even, you know, uh, that long before I seen this video because I follow uh, some of these artists and uh, some, um, apparently there's a recent, like, beef or something going on between these artists and uh Kasky and if you know my page you know me I follow Kasky uh and I've done a couple of his uh videos and songs and stuff but um I haven't followed the other side of the beef where like these guys are talking shit and uh uh sneak this in, in in their songs but I don't think I don't think anybody said anybody's name just yet I think they're still you know doing their thing um back and forth here and kind of like uh, dancing around the beef um, but uh, I think these guys kind of started it uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens uh, I don't want to I know I know uh, I kind of get some flack a little bit and uh, about my opinion on some of these artists because I seem to get uh, all of the fans of these guys right of course because I'm commenting on you know their 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 stuff and uh, I kind of want to do that I want to get a different perspective I want to have this uh, this conversation but um if my opinion stands at the end that I still don't like these artists or I don't, you know, I don't get down with their music or I don't agree with them, then then so be it. That's what it is. But um, I'm just going to speak my opinion and say how I feel as just like these guys are saying how they feel. I got some, you know, uh, 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 some things I want to comment on as well. So I'm going to listen and see what, so what he's talking about. And I did listen for the first 30 seconds or so because um, I had clicked on it and I was like, oh, maybe I should react to this. So I was going to do it. Um, and then 30 seconds in, uh, I kind of I paused it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to it again. I'm gonna go right to the beginning now. Right here, I'm gonna rewind it. He's got a picture of Kasky, uh, to one of the uh, promo shots that he did. It's not even a promo. It's like he's just being funny the way I see it. And uh, he's got something to comment on. So let's see what he says. <laughs> oh my God, bro! Where they do this at? In this picture, you can see Kasky. Wearing a grown man's shirt as a motherfucking dress. Brandon. Br All right. So first things first. Um, why did why why do I always why do they always think it's like there's some kind of portrayal of a a dress and like why can't it be just it's a big t-shirt and he's not wearing any pants? You know, is it like you think like there's some like agenda to to make artists wear dresses? such a weird thing like but uh i don't know so anyway you got something to say about that i guess because he's kind of like an obscure funny artist uh where you're not you're pretty edgy and you're, you're pretty straightforward you know what i'm saying so all right that's first all right all right brandon kasky what are you doing bro you guys know who kasky is i'm gonna most of you people are not gonna know who kasky is he's this little rapper he's a weird little dude uh he, he said he's the best rapper since Shady, and he thinks that made me mad. That's not at all what made me mad. Oh, he said uh, we the hardest rappers ever came after Shady. He said that about him and Yellow Wolf. So he didn't say they're the best rappers. And it didn't make you mad, so I get it, but that's not what he said. So a lot of artists got mad at him for saying we the hardest rappers ever came after Shady. So much, he made a t-shirt about it just to, to troll you guys. And because some people were mad about it. Uh some rappers were mad that he said it like oh my god can you believe him like rap and hip-hop is a braggadocious sport right you can say you're the best you can say you're gonna kill somebody on a track you're, you're better than them or, or the hardest rapper you know what i mean and then come back and be a harder rapper if you got a problem with it or don't have a problem with it and just be who you are because y'all are not even in the same lane i don't think you know not even the same type of artist he's obscure and a weird little dude so you call him but you know i don't know I don't give a fuck if you think you're the best rapper since Shady. That's good shit. You're supposed to be competitive. Right. What made me mad was 
when you posted that and you said you want all the smoke, someone in the comments said, what about Upchurch? And you said, laughing my ass off. So what are you trying to say? Are you trying to- Wait, wait, wait. You said you're mad because he said he wants all the smoke, all the rap smoke, right? Because, and somebody said, what about Upchurch? He said, laughing my ass off. So you're mad at your, because your friend got, he laughed at your friend, he laughed at a comment about your friend being a better rapper. Okay, so what? So what? Okay, all right. I mean, go ahead. I say you're better than church. Are you saying, are you, what, what? you're yeah. mocking one of my guys. I consider that dude like a brother. And you're in the comments like laughing my ass off. Like, you, what, what, what have you done, bro? And he can laugh his ass off if he wants to. Wow, that's, yeah, that's pretty sensitive, dude. That's pretty sensitive. To, that's a safe space type of thing. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry he, he dissed your boy. Then you keep going and you say this shit. Do people put me in the same category as these dudes? Cause... What? Yeah, that is... That is kind of weird how people keep comparing you to us. You ain't even in the same planet system. I'll just use me. Planet system? What are you talking about? You, Bro, you're not in the same type of night, same category. They're not the same genre. And people keep comparing them you guys to him there's no other artist like they respect yellow wolf right and then but then they'll talk shit about caskey like because yellow wolf's <laughs> harder than any y'all it put together all four of your gi joe five year gi joe camp or whatever you got uh, yellow wolf or, but he doesn't even care he's not even beefing with y'all um and you're mad about okay damn bro like all right i didn't realize it went this deep like Damn, cuts like a knife. All right, safe space is all Me, right. as an example, you stream a tenth of what I stream. Oh, I paid half a million in go. taxes alone last year. You've been doing music for like, what, eight years or something? In less than... You've been doing music for like two years or something? Three years, I've streamed more than you've streamed in your whole entire fucking career. You ain't getting more streams than us. You ain't getting more views than us. You ain't making more money than us. So why the fuck are you in the same fucking conversation as us? Because you're white, probably. That's about it. Your little punk ass is still borrowing money from distribution companies. So I get on Instagram and I say, oh, this dude wants all the smoke. I'm not thinking about rap. I'm thinking about this dude's talking shit about my guy and then he's backpedaling and saying, you, you want to get on the phone with me? This dude's like, yo, let me get this dude's number. I want to get make a phone call. For what? We don't have nothing in common to talk about. I'm a fucking boss. You're a worker. What do we have in common? I employ people that make money and pay taxes and have insurance, dog. You do a couple thousand dollars in merch. I'm doing a hundred thousand dollars a week in apparel. Now I know I shouldn't be punching down. This is a waste of my fucking time. But I noticed you've been real fucking quiet when your album dropped on the same day as Burden's album dropped. Burden has Less subs on YouTube, less followers on Instagram, never been signed to a major, completely independent, and beat your ass all up and down them fucking iTunes charts. You want it? You on want one, real? On one album, bro. Yo, you guys have been out two, three years. Caskey's been around since before streaming was like a fucking thing. Right? But he's got... Oh, my God. Y'all mastered like some art of uh, fucking getting views and plays damn and and then you're talking in the plurals too he's talking about you and like all these other artists caskey's like been by himself this is so crazy man i can't believe i'm even i i'm almost like halfway in right now i'm almost not even wanting to react like he he you got your own thing going on you're a trucker on the road if if that's the case, like, like metaphorically speaking, yeah, yeah, cool, you do your thing, so he does his thing, like, you've been rapping for how long, he's been grinding for, like, man, I got, wow, all right, I'm, I'm kind of heated too, you guys, oh, 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 all right, anyway, let's go. You didn't even sell 300 pre-orders on your fucking pre-order, you just, on a mixtape, on a, on a, on a, my bad. This came off an album with Yellow Wolf. You've been signed to a major cash money and you drop your fucking fine art, whatever the f album you drop, and you don't even beat Lil Low Burden. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? So yeah, why the fuck 
are people mentioning your little bitch ass with me or anyone else that's fucking crushing you? And you know what? How come none of the... How it was crazy as you're the only one this mad about it, bro. It's so weird. Like, he's just doing his thing and, like, wasn't even trying to compete with Burden, but Burden is on a, on a wave with you guys. You guys are on a wave of this new country rap, all-American, all you know, gung-ho shit. Like, be your, do your thing, but, but why are you trying to catch, like, someone else's wave, you know? You, you're the only one mentioning him. All the fucking time. And then he comes back and says something to you and you just kind of, and you want to do videos like this. Like a whole damn YouTube video. He goes on his story and kind of just talks shit. How come none of the guys shared your album? We all share each other's albums and projects and songs when they come out. How come, how come Papa, how come your daddy didn't share your fucking album, dog? <laughs> Kasky. Tell me you support BLM and Antifa without actually telling me. Yeah, that's real life right there. You talking about guns and all this shit all the time? Where the fuck you got your gun, dog? In your thong? In your butt cheeks? This dude made a diss verse. I mean, he never said my name or nothing. Talk about guns and all this shit. Talk about people outside my house with guns. Like, you're going to kill me, dog? You know I'm having a daughter? Like, I have a baby on the way. My son's home from the military, motherfucker. You keep saying you ain't going to fight me. That's cool. I ain't in your weight class. My son is. Your little homie. You are little homie. Go get Yellow Wolf a fucking coffee. And then my son will drag you. Then you'll be little homie's little homie. So I'm going to ask you a fucking again. You want real smoke? You just want this internet bullshit. You ain't riding around with no fucking killers. Do you even have a fucking felony? Whoever did time? I never... You talk about all this gangster shit and guns and all this shit? I'll tell you what you do. Relax. Go have a vegan donut, a fucking latte, frappe, drizzle, caramel, whatever the fuck. Go write a fucking poem. Go tell your girlfriend how much you love her and go stand in your fucking artsy studio naked and go paint some shit, you fucking weirdo. You ain't beat me at anything in life. What's crazy is you must follow him if you know all this shit about him. And I, he probably don't know shit about you, but like this, this persona that you have. That's crazy, man. And y'all are going to be in my comments like, why are you defending Kasky? I'm just giving my point of view and and uh, speaking from this side of uh, of the of the thing. I like Kasky. I don't like Adam Calhoun. Like, I don't follow him. I don't like his message. I think he raps like a, 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 a two, three-year-old rapper. Not two and three years old, but like you've been doing this for two, three years. You sound like you've been doing it for two or three years. You know, take it as a diss, I guess. You, you're the only one so mad about this. It's crazy. Not rap, not money, ever in your life in fighting. So I jump outside my body and get on this fucking video. I'm telling you what, you think calling me and trying to talk to me on the phone is gangster? What happens next is gangster, dog. Wow. You know, I'm probably not even going to post this video. That's crazy, bro. All right. I guess we'll see what happens. So I uh, I spoke a little bit of my perspective. I gave a little bit of my point of view on the situation. I think that ending is like, what happens next is gangster. Like, you're leaving it so open. It's like a soap opera. It's like so drama. You got a daughter on the way, is what you said. And you're trying to have your... He's talking about rap, like he's rapping. You, you have, you're making this real. And instead of just sticking to the rap smoke, like you, I can't believe you're even separating this shit, making it real smoke. You just said you got a daughter, and you're trying to get him to get your your son to fight him, and 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 beat him up or whatever. Like you're so you're a grown ass man, bro. You're like 43 years old. Like me. Like you're as old as me. That's like your little brother. And and I'm sure Kasky can hold his own, but like, holy shit, bro. I can't, like, I don't even know. I know guys like you, but I don't even know where you came from. You're like, you did some time and then you you started rapping. It's crazy. But you're on a wave, bro. You're on a wave. Catch it. You know what I'm saying? Keep keep riding it, I guess, for your, for your brothers. They say, they're all doing the same type of music. You're hating on a dude for being a little crafty and artsy with his shit, but, like, he still will hold his own. Like, so what, man? You're like a UFC fighter and shit. <sighs> nice hat. It almost looks like mine, but 
you <laughs> all right hey trail seven reactions uh if you got something to comment say it um look these are reactions this is what i'm doing in real time i i spoke on it uh i don't want no real smoke mr calhoun i'm just uh i'm a reaction i want some reaction smoke uh and if i do music too but you don't diss me okay please i, I won't i won't respond <laughs> all right peace out y'all Left is what's in front of me, but there's a somber silence in the corners of my mind as I'm reminded of a time when our lives were intertwined. All the good times we had, I'm looking back on the best of them. The memories that we shared, the happiness and the stress in them. But I would never let you go to the point of such despair. I would never leave you stranded, so lost and unaware. We struggled through the hard times and tears you cry for days. Still, I hear you calling, saying, Please don't go away. My motivation, my strength, my love and inspiration. Somehow I feel that this is not our final destination. I've been up and down this road and back again to learn this. Lesson in all honesty and truth be told, the shit will have you stressing. Sometimes you want to burn it all and leave the past behind you. But yesterday's a memory. You know it'll take some time to leave these faded memories and these beautiful mistakes. Got me staring and reflecting, thinking of better days, past times away. I'll find a way to make it through, but can't think of where I'd be, where I'd be without you. Still, these faded memories and these beautiful mistakes. Got me staring and reflecting, thinking of better days, past times away. I'll find a way to make it through, but can't think of where I'd be, where I'd be without you. And that's we revamp these memories, put it all in perspective Some things will be better if we just live and let live Don't regret but forgive, what purpose the burden serve? Straight path and narrow-minded, blinded by the devil's curve I share this peace of mind, this peace of mind, my heart is shaping Molded into something, might be worth it for the taking I simile by no means, nothing alike But you complete every part of me I like in my life I'm like the same man with so much more potential The right hand makes the left so much more essential I can put it in words but I'll help you understand Every sense I write makes me That much more a man From my soul to my brain From my heart is where I speak On these faded memories And these beautiful mistakes Got me staring and reflecting Thinking of better days Past times away I'll find a way to make it through But can't think of where I'd be Where I'd be without you Still these faded memories And these beautiful mistakes Got me staring and reflecting Thinking of better days Past times away I'll find a way to make it through, but can't think of where I'd be, where I'd be without you, love. These faded memories and these beautiful mistakes got me staring and reflecting, thinking of better days, past times away. I'll find a way to make it through, but can't think of where I'd be, where I'd be without you. Still, these faded memories and these beautiful mistakes got me staring and reflecting, thinking of better days, past times away. I'll find a way to make it through, but can't think of where I'd be, where I'd be without you, love. Without you, love.